Uh, we produce a range of products uh, including single variety apple juices, vegetable juices and smoothies. Our life began at the CSIRO. The initial production occurred in the CSIRO food sciences uh, labs. We were really looking for a product that nobody had ever experienced before. To provide shelf life, traditional processors have to heat their products or add preservatives, which destroys the nutrition, taste, colour and flavour of juices. We don't have to do that at all. HBP is an emerging technology that uses extremely high pressure rather than heat to kill yeasts, mould and bacteria. The unique benefits of HPP are that it gives chilled foods an extended shelf life and doesn't affect the flavour, colour and nutritional value. It's all about taste. And once you taste it, you'll never go back. The success of pressure fruit juices is great for everyone, from growers to bottle suppliers, carton manufacturers, everyone has been able to participate in the success. Recently we've worked with one of our major suppliers, Montagues. Using our technology we've been able to develop a jazz single variety apple juice that has spectacular taste. We see working together with Montagues as an excellent opportunity to provide the market with another superior apple juice. Over the past six months, uh, we've doubled the size of the factory, added a second HPP machine, and this has resulted in 20 additional employees and significantly more opportunity for growth in the business over the next four to five years. Over the last few years, we've been developing the market in Asia because there are very few other products that are of similar quality in their markets. And so we see over the next five years, many opportunities uh, to grow those markets with a super premium juice that they've never experienced previously. Pressure Food is living proof that you can work with the CSIRO to develop super premium products that have not been available to the Australian market or world markets in the past. One thing that I am sure of is we would never be in the position that we are now if we didn't start with the collaborative work with CSIRO.